Hi, this is Serena Higgins, and I am here to announce to you the winners of week two of Signum University's Almost an Inkling Creative Writing Contest. So week two was all about dragons. We heard about various adventurers and heroes, we heard from the dragon's perspective, and we had a lot of surprising twists. So as I did last week, I will begin with talking to you about the winners of the popular vote. These are simply the ones that were chose by number, chosen by numbers from people who voted on our poll and decided on which ones were their favorites. So I'll give you some of the honorable mentions first. These ones did not win the popular vote, but they came pretty close. From fewest votes up to most, we have Cliché by Alexis Haidt. Changing Bounty by Ed McNamara, two called The Last Dragon, The Last Dragon by Kay Wagner, or Wagner, and The Last Dragon by Cheryl Cordoza, Quiet Courage by Jewel John, I Will Go by Olivia Jacobitz, and The Visitor by Jessica Kantrowitz. So those are some of the honorable mentions in the popular vote category. All right, but let me tell you who our actual winners are of the popular vote. The second runner-up with the third most popular votes was It's a Girl by Alexis Haidt. A really great girl power, girl hero story with quite a surprising twist. The first runner-up with the second most popular votes was Brenton Dickinson's Saving the World Left-Handed that was a parody of several genres mashed up together quite enjoyable. And the winner of the popular vote was J. Bryce Odom, The Dragon and the Brave. So do read these stories. They are available for you in a PDF on this page. And of course, they will be published in the ebook from Oloris Publishing at the end of the contest. I encourage those three winners of the popular vote to contact me to make those arrangements. You can get me on Twitter at Sorina Higgins or my email, sorina.higgins at signumu.org. Okay, let's move on then to the literary awards chosen by myself and Robin Stone of Oloris Publishing. Now in week one, I told you that we had a pretty easy job. The winner was absolutely clear. This week was a bit more difficult, and that's good because there were a lot more really good entries, so it was a more difficult decision and required a bit more back and forth but we did have absolute agreement about the winners at the end. The result of that is that there are quite a few really good honorable mentions. So these do not win the literary prize, but they were in our discussions and we did admire a lot of their skill. So here are some of the honorable mentions then in the literary category for the week about dragons. Eugene Sullivan, A Trade. Carita, is that Carita Alexander? Incredible Edible You or An Open Letter from a Hungry Dragon. Elijah David, Tambor Death of Dragons. Rebecca Brunner, Secret Weapon. Laura Krauss, Meditation. L.F.S. Alden, Nameless. David Hepting, A Burning Message. This is a really powerful and heartbreaking story. We admired it very much as we did with Anne Whitver's Raised by Dragons. This is the one that as I was simply copying and pasting it over so that you could read it, it made me cry. So it was very powerful. And Tom Hillman, There is Not a Unicorn in the Bookstore. This may have been the funniest entry that we received and I really admired its skill for creating a perfect narrative and perfect timing with almost exclusively conversation. And we got to know the characters really quickly and the scenario directly through just conversation. So well done, Tom. That was a really good honorable mention. All right, so on then to the actual winners of the Literary Prize in week two, starting with the second runner-up. This is Alchemy by Anne Whitver. This is also a very funny story with excellent dialogue and the narrative unfolds really well primarily through conversation and there are a couple of really funny twists. This story also shows a mastery of diction of choosing just the right word at just the right moment. So look for the surprising word triaged in an unusual context and look for the word transmute, a very important word in this context that comes just when it should occur in the story. The first runner-up is 
Stacy Erickson, Hear the Lonesome Whistle Blow. This was a beautiful, strange, mysterious story with very poetic diction, and it draws the reader into the dragon's psychology right away and continues on that level of mysterious and foreign thought and emotion throughout the story. It's really gorgeous, haunting prose with a heartbreaking twist at the end that you can see coming, but it's no less powerful for that. And it's also a really sexy story. Our winner for week two in the literary category is Elena Asby Roberts, I Love Thee Not. Another story that uses strange and mysterious poetic diction, it's got a perfect mastery of tone. It creates an atmosphere of long ago and far away and mysterious tone and time right away. And it's got really good pacing, really good timing. And it creates a deep, well-developed human relationship in a tiny space. So those are some of the reasons that we chose these pieces. So congratulations to all of this week's winners. Do get in contact with me to make arrangements for the publication and presentation of your work. And please do continue submitting. Week three right now going on is One Minute Mysteries. That's mysteries that you present and solve in 250 words. So please send in your work and encourage all of your friends and family to vote now and in the upcoming weeks. Thanks so much.